Shalom, Shalom, B'nai Elohim. Welcome and thank you for journey with us here at Devar Sound Studio where we engage the Hebrew and Messianic scriptures for the purpose of extracting their inner meanings and applying the principles to our daily lives. Today's devotional is entitled, The Visitation of Elohim, Trusting the Torah's Guidance. With this transformative devotional based on Genesis 50 verse 24, we delve into the rich tapestry of biblical narrative of the life of Yosef and his brothers as they situate as a family in the land of Mitzrayim. Now that they have buried their father in the cave of Machpelah, the brothers feared that Yosef would take vengeance on them for their treatment towards him as they sold him into slavery. His words of encouragement and forgiveness to them demonstrated the maturity and messianic consciousness that Yosef had come to embody over the years. And now that his life was transitioning, he charged his siblings with the mission to also bury him in the land of Canaan after they experienced the visitation and redemption of Elohim. May the message of this devotional edify your life as we seek to extract timeless principles that illuminate the significance of the visitation of Elohim in the transitions of life. Navigating Life's Transitions as we consider the journey of Yosef's life, marked by dramatic shifts and transitions, may we come to learn the principles of resilience, determination, focus, and faithfulness in the face of challenge. From the pit to the palace, from slavery to rulership, Yosef's story mirrors the dynamic changes we encounter in our own lives. And now that he was about to experience the most significant transitions of them all, death, Yosef squares up with the eventual appointment and calls his brothers to action to fulfill his death wish. As we take this into account, may we come to consider the ways in which Yah's hand orchestrates our transitions, guiding us through the highs and lows of life. Heavenly Visitation and Distress Throughout Scripture we witness the majestic presence of Elohim during Israel's times of distress. Joseph's words to his brothers serve as a prophetic encouragement to them and their progeny as they would come to experience the bondage of the Mitzrites. As a testament of the heavenly visitation that accompanies us through trials, words such as these spoken to a generation can serve as inspiration to those that come later if those words are transmitted from one generation to the next. For Israel, this generational transmission, in Hebrew pronounced door la door, is a fundamental cultural practice that preserves all generations' existence as the unbroken bond of Torah is continuously carried forward. May we come to uncover the comforting truth that even in our darkest moments, Elohim is near, bringing solace, strength, and a way of escape as we heed the words of our ancestors and the Torah of our Elohim. Deliverance from Bondage Joseph's ascent from the depths of slavery to the pinnacle of authority symbolizes the redemptive power of Elohim. It also served as a sign that Israel would have to evoke given the depths of depravity that they would come to experience at the hands of the Mitzrites. For it is in the pitfalls of life that our fortitude is most tried, and depending on our response to the situation, our eventual overcoming or succumbing to the hardships of life will either make us or break us. And even as Israel neared a breaking during their 230-year affliction in the land of Mitzrayim, they were able to find the courage and strength to press forward towards the light in the midst of the darkness that they were facing. From these witnesses, may we come to gain valuable insights into the transformative nature of heavenly visitation, breaking the chains of bondage and leading us into a place of freedom, purpose, and fulfillment. Inheritance of the Promised Land As Joseph's story points to the eventual inheritance of the Promised Land, our challenge remains gleaning the wisdom about Yah's faithfulness to fulfill his promises. Just as Israel experienced a bleak 20-year oppressive stint with his uncle Laban to finally marry the love of his life, so too will Israel soon undergo a time of desperation that will require of them to find the grit and gall to endure their circumstance to the end for the inheritance of the land that Abraham was told his descendants would inherit after such an ordeal. In our present pursuit of purpose, significance, and life, may we connect the dots between Yosef and his father and brothers. Journey in the broader perspective of Yah's covenant with his people. Let us always anticipate and look expectantly to the inheritance that awaits those who remain faithful in their walk with Elohim. Selah. And now a word of prayer for heavenly guidance. Our Father and King, Yah El Goalenu, our Redeemer, as we seek your guidance in the transitions of life, allow us to embrace the assurance that your visitation brings us entrusting every phase of our journey into your capable hands. 
May this prayer become a beacon of hope and strength as we navigate life's ever-changing landscapes. In Yahashua's name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining Devar Sound Studio on a spiritual odyssey where the visitation of Elohim becomes a guiding light through life's transitions, offering our soul solace, deliverance, and the promise of an eternal inheritance. Yours truly in Messiah. More Mikael Corbin Yahoo.